Hello Maidensbridge and Newfield Park, Miss Calderbank again here. Here is lesson three. Enjoy! Here we have a rhythm grid. You'll notice that there are some crotchets which are one beat notes and a new symbol which is a one beat rest. We're going to clap our way through this rhythm grid starting from the very beginning all the way to the end and once you get to the end we're going to repeat it again three times. When you get to your rests remember not to clap, see if you can make the shh sound instead. After four. One, two, three, four. Now let's see if we can go at a faster speed. So the same rhythms again, but just a little faster and remember to repeat it three times. After four. One, two, three, four. Let's have a go at this rhythm grid. In this one, we've got quavers, so remember, these are the faster notes. Again, we're going to repeat it three times all the way through. After four. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can try this one faster. All the way through, three times, but faster. After four. One, two, three, four. Well done if you manage to keep up with that faster speed. After this video, have a go at drawing your own rhythm grids and be creative with different sounds you can use for the notes. For example, you could stamp on each note or sing or be creative with your voice. Now we're going to introduce you to something called dynamics. The dynamics are the volume of sound in your music. Music often uses Italian words to instruct the way the music should be played or sung. We're going to have a look at a few of those now. Here you will see a table and a list of different words and symbols for those dynamics. The first one is piano. This symbol is a P in your music. This means we have to play these sections quietly. Mezzo piano underneath is written as MP in your music. And this is a little bit louder, but moderately quiet. When you have two P's next to each other, this is pianissimo. This is, means we've got to be very quiet in our music. Forte is written as an F. This means we have to be nice and loud whenever we have these sections. Mezzo forte, similar to mezzo piano, means moderately loud. And this is written as MF. Two Fs together means fortissimo. And this means we have to be very loud in our music. See if you can try and remember these for next week's lesson, as there may be a little quiz on the symbols and meanings as well as some listening tasks.